I'm here in Edgewoodstown, County Longford, part of Literary Ireland and situated in the heart of the country. I've come to follow in the footsteps of the famous 19th century writers, Mariah Edgeworth, Sir Walter Scott, William Wordsworth, Oscar Wilde, and Parry Collum, all of whom have lived here or have visited the town. Indeed, the association continues to this day with Vona Grork and Belinda McKeown. All have made their mark in the field of international literature. I hope to get an understanding of why so many of the giants of literature should have connections with this quiet country town. I am now walking up the avenue to Edgeworthstown House, ancestral home of the famous Edgeworth family, who left behind volumes of important works, and of whom volumes have since been written. The house now serves as a nursing home. The avenue leads me to the adjoining wall garden and I am delighted to see that it is beautifully maintained. Inside stands what is taught to be the famous interdenominational school, the first of its kind in Ireland, established by Richard Lovell Edgeworth and continued on by his son. The walk takes me gently through the grounds to St. John's Rectory. It is the house where Oliver Goldsmith and Richard Lovell Edgeworth received their early education under the instruction of the Reverend Patrick Hughes in the 18th century. It is also the birthplace of Henry Essex Edgeworth, later to be known as the Abbey Edgeworth, friend to the French royal family. The Abbey said the final mass for the King and indeed accompanied him on his final fateful journey to his execution in 1793 during the French Reign of Terror. The house is also the place where Isola Wilde, beloved sister to Oscar, died at the tender age of nine while on a visit to her aunt. Inside is housed the extensive Edgeworth Portrait Gallery. I am now at St. John's Church and Graveyard, where I find memorials to famous people, including one to Admiral Beaufort of the Beaufort Scale fame. This is also the place where Mariah Edgeworth and many members of her family are buried, and where Isola Wilde is also interred. I read on her memorial stone the first stanza of Oscar's poem Requisite, written in her memory. Tread lightly she is near, under the snow. Speak gently she can hear, the daisies grow. All her bright golden hair, tarnished with rust. She that was young and fair, fallen to dust. I'm coming to the end of my walk and what a wonderful few hours I've spent in Edwardstown, County Long. Indeed, I will be back. <laughs>